Hi, I'm Kate Cohen on behalf of the Hertz Furniture School Matters video blog. I'd like to start by telling you about two different visions for education in the future. I've got my laptop here. In his Wall Street Journal article, Yale computer science professor David Gerlerncher describes a local internet school as a quote, one classroom school with 20 or so children of all ages between 6th and 12th grade, each sitting at a computer and wearing headsets. Each child does a whole curriculum's worth of learning online at the computer. Most of the time he follows canned courses on screen, but for an hour every day he deals directly, one-to-one -one over phone or video phone with a tutor. And here's another idea of what the future may hold. Zagata Mitra, professor of education technology at Newcastle University, describes children taking a history test 50 years from now in self-organized learning environments. The children have Bluetooth stereo implants in their ears or V-screen implants that show images in the visual cortex. The group share everything as they listen to what their implants say and show them, and then create websites based on their findings and present them to the class. In this picture, technology is literally implanted into the children's bodies, and the guide slash teacher is a projected image, and the students aren't sure if she or it is real or a computer program. These two examples both paint a picture of education that relies heavily on technology. And in both examples, you may have noticed that the role of a present human teacher has been basically erased. The first really promotes differentiation and self-placed learning. The second charts a new course developing 21st century skills, such as managing, analyzing, and synthesizing <clears throat> multiple streams of information at the same time. So what do you think? Whether you're an enthusiastic blogger on blended learning in your classroom, or you're more hesitant to introduce tech into your curriculum. The voice of educators need to be part of the conversation as big decisions are made about the future of education and technology. I'll tell you a little bit about what I think. As someone who has written digital math curriculum, I'm excited about the potential for differentiation technology holds. On the other hand, I'm reluctant, a little bit nervous about whether we can be responsible and sane as gadgets and constant online access integrate themselves into every aspect of our daily lives. This may be what makes it so important that we not neglect the role that technology can play in education. Our lives are so intertwined with technology now, so schools need to be places where we learn with students how to develop a healthy relationship with a technology, how to navigate the online world, as well as understand when technology can help us and when it can't. And this leads me to my next point. Sometimes I strongly believe the computer needs to be turned off. As Paul Lockhart argues in his essay, A Mathematician's Lament, math should be taught as an art, letting students, for example, develop geometrical proofs by letting them explore and use their intuition. And that means not using a search engine, but rather a piece of paper, a pencil, some drawing tools. Later, after you've developed your proof, you can go back online, share it with the world, talk about it. That's where I see the balance. What are your thoughts about the future role of technology in education? We welcome your comments.